Homelessness, the result of leftist, no-growth policies. This is Tom Goolsby, and this is my opinion. Blue states like California continue to see homelessness grow out of control. What's the answer from the Democrat ruling elite? Well, it's to raise property taxes and have the public foot the bill for more shelters and, quote, affordable, that is, government slum housing, plus more touchy-feely outreach and counseling programs. The result of these misguided policies is more homelessness. No surprise. When you subsidize homelessness, you get what? More of it. What is the root cause of the growing homeless problem in California and other blue states that are plagued with such issues? It's simple. Not enough homes equals homelessness. Duh. Instead of focusing on answers, local leaders serve the interests of big government trendies in their posh neighborhoods. These wealthy urbanites desire things like greenways, parks, recycling programs, convenient and expensive high-speed rail, waterfront walkways, and bike trails. Not affordable housing for the working-class people they'd just rather not see. Left-leaning municipal leaders have complied. Now red tape, endless regulations, and high property taxes drive up housing costs and prevent the private sector from building new, affordable homes, apartments, and condos. Homelessness is simply the result of decades of underbuilding. The answer is for state lawmakers to step in and stop the local madness by passing legislation allowing more building and denser cities. These actions would encourage the production of additional needed and cheaper housing. Last year alone, homelessness went from 12 to 16 percent in L.A. Think about this. 58,936 people now squat in L.A. County. In just two years, homelessness increased 17 percent in San Francisco, a whopping 42 percent in San Jose, and 31 percent in Santa Clara County. That's the heart of Silicon Valley, one of the most wealthy places in the nation. When you find yourself in a hole, common sense would tell you to stop digging. Instead, liberal-run municipalities continue to do the opposite by driving up costs and barriers for creating affordable housing. With this type of mindset, you can expect the tent cities to keep growing. I'm Tom Goolsby, and this is what I think.